Welcome everyone. This is the control test for the Tesla power transfer. Um, some people question whether the energy is truly being transferred. So we're going to do a test using the same batteries, same light, and we're just going to run that until it runs down to the three volt mark. I'm going to stop it at the three volt mark because um, normal electronics, a lot of these electronics will tell you not to use rechargeables. And the reason for that is not that the charge of rechargeable batteries are incompatible. It's more that these conventional electronics will kill your rechargeable batteries. They do this by dropping them down to unacceptable voltage levels where a lot of batteries practically switch off. They become not functional. They won't charge anymore. Um, so that's generally why a lot of conventional electronics will say to you, don't use rechargeable batteries on the packaging. Um, so these are going to be use the rechargeable batteries because we need that um, fair comparison. These are the batteries used in the other um, uh, power transfer. So we need to use the same batteries. We need to set, use the same load or the same light. So I've got this little clock here, which has the date. It's the first of the ninth. I'm going to start this now. I estimate this will run for approximately 12 hours um, with fully charged batteries like that these batteries are 1.2 uh, which gives us a combined voltage in series of 4.8 volts the 5.6 that you see on the meter is most likely potential uh, overcharge <clears throat> for each battery um, <clears throat> to be safely rated at that um, rating it, uh, one assumes that they've had to allow the battery's capacity to be slightly larger than that uh, so it can take in extra power without causing a problem so we end up with 5.6 volts probably a little bit of a high voltage to be running this this light is meant to operate at 4.5 volts <clears throat> however when fully charged in the power transfer test, these are the same batteries, same light. So we, we need to keep everything consistent there, to be fair. Um, this, when I turn this light on, or when I connect this um, jumper lead, we will see uh, around about the 400 um, milliamps being consumed by the light. And as this is set up in a conventional sense, it is positive to negative so the power has to go somewhere my assumption it will produce more light i'm uh, sorry more heat than it normally does when using the transfer method all right so here we go 1036 and it is the first of the ninth okay being difficult oh, okay that's on the MA setting we will remove that put it on the 10 amp setting put that on that side okay so 410 milliamps voltage has dropped immediately so a lot of that was potential voltage. So dropping around down to 490. It should be fully charged. These cells should produce a 4.8 voltage. So we're getting close to what, what it should be. Um, still a little bit higher f the um, electrical uh, value than what the light should be receiving. I imagine the light under normal conventional use will probably use around about the 300 MA mark. Um, 
So what we'll do now is I will leave this running until it reduces to 3 volts uh, because by that time we'll be looking at 0.9 of a volt per battery anything lower than that it was most likely going to damage it I've already done one test like this um, with these batteries and one of them didn't come out so well struggled to be recharged so that is uh, the reason why um, as I said before the they tell you to use those throwaway disposable batteries. They're actually killing those batteries in a conventional sense. Okay, um, what we'll do when, when we finish this test is I will test these batteries with, um, with this meter. Just give you an example. This is what a fully charged one looks like. And so we'll see what they look like when they come out of there at the 3 volt mark. Alright, back soon. 10 hours or so. 12 maybe. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, abort this test early. Um, earlier than I thought anyway. The time now is 3.53, almost 4 o'clock, same day. Um, so it's quite a poor result, to be honest. Um, okay, it's, we'll need to swap this over to the milliamp side because it's now... Actually, I'll show you the output of the LED. It's fairly dim, and to be fair... With the light off. Um, the reason I have to stop this now is because of the voltage and that will cause damage to these batteries. Um, I'll take them out and, and I'll test them now. We'll swap this over first so the light will briefly go off for a second while I transfer this to the milliamp side okay lights back on we are consuming 13 point okay because I moved that I must have adjusted the amperage then okay so 15.3 milliamps and 2.71 volts um, so rather than damage these, I will abort the test now, and then we'll just test these and see. Okay, so it says that they're still good in the good range, so they haven't been damaged as such. Well, that one hasn't. Let's get the others out. Same in the good range, just above low. Oh, now that one says replace. So that's interesting. So maybe there is some damage occurring to those batteries by allowing them to run to such a low vo low uh, voltage. Last battery. And it's saying replace as well. So we've got two that say replace and two that say that they're just okay. Now when it when it says replace, I imagine that means you know for a standard battery, a non-rechargeable battery, you literally throw them away. Uh, these two will now have to be inspected uh, and then placed in the battery charger, and hopefully they uh, recharge and haven't been permanently damaged. So that's quite disappointing. 
for the conventional use for the power transfer method looks like thumbs up looks like it's uh, a lot better than using a conventional use of electricity all right thanks for watching please like share and subscribe I will try to do another test of this nature just to make sure that there's not something wrong with the batteries um, rule it all out be 100% convinced and then we move forward with uh, more testing of the Tesla power transfer thanks for watching have a nice day please like share and subscribe